You know we've been playing Defenders a lot, right? When I say a lot, I mean like we're max level, we got all the units, and we literally, well, not all the units, we have most of the units, and we've got an insane team. Yesterday, we saw a shiny cart max level evolved showcase. Today, I'm gonna one-up that, I think. If you're looking at my units right now, you might be able to guess exactly what I'm gonna showcase you guys today. Um, but if you take a look, you see we got Natsu, Bochi, a shiny ant, that's crazy. Sasuke, and oh my gosh. Is that Sukuna? Hold on. Is that Sukuna special? It literally is a special Sukuna, guys. We got Curse King Evolved Sukuna with Almighty and Critical. I, I, I really don't think there's anything better for Sukuna than Almighty Critical, maybe like Almighty Precision, but guys, this unit is absurd! Make sure to hit the like button. Let's get to like 500 likes. Um, real quickly here, let me get you guys the codes here. Uh, tight, uh, let's see, sub to, ooh, wow, that does not say sub. Sub to nag, blocks is the first code, give you guys 50 gems. Uh, sub to, wow, I cannot tight right now. Sub to Rick time. I actually gotta go to work at the time I'm doing this, so I'm trying to do this as fast as I can. Sub to Jonas Lee Z, there we go. Uh, sub to Toad Boy Gaming. Well, let's just say sub, sorry. Uh, anyways, you guys know what that meant. Sub to, to Toad Boy Gaming. There we go. And then uh, big code, new code, 200k. Holy moly. That's literally like the deal of this video right here. Holy moly, this is gonna be insane. Redeem that. That's gonna give you guys a thousand gems. Now there is one code that might work in some servers. It's called release 2024. Yeah, it doesn't actually work, but um, guys, this, is actually crazy. The fact that I got Sukuna and then I evoed him and he's unique is crazy. So over here, a lot of you guys have been asking me how do I level up units quickly? There is literally only one way to level up units and I'll show you guys in like a full video in the future. But get your unit and get the um, precision trait on them. It's this trait right here. You go to traits, you go to see chances. Uh, precision. It's a 10% chance increase XP gain by 50%. That's literally the only best way to level up your units and get them super strong. For example, uh, I wish I had a precision unit here that I can show you guys. But what you do is once you get a precision unit, you go over here to your items, you complete as many story nodes as you can. Obviously, higher level story nodes will give you guys better food to feed. But you're going to use your food, and once you have precision on them, you're going to go ahead and feed whatever you got into your units. Yep, look at that, 400 XP. Uh, let's see what each one gets real quick. So that right there gets you 100 XP. That one you get 50. So this one's going to get you like 200 XP, I think, for getting the cursed object. So I suggest you guys AFK the last map for that. Anyways, who's in Danner? We got Ant King, which if you guys did not see already, I got a shiny Ant King. Yeah, that's shiny Ant King right there, guys. You guys, I got precision on him. I'll do a video on him in the future. Uh, maybe I'll even show him right now with Sukuna. I don't even know, but here's shiny Ant King. Look, absolutely crazy. There's a cosmetic that I have for him. But that's how you got. That's not why you guys are here. You're here to see what Sukuna, unique Evo Ascended, whatever he's called, can do. Look at that. Confirm. Almighty one and critical one. As you guys can see, Almighty is the new unique 200% AD damage increase, 15% cooldown plus 10% range, but you can only place one of him. Now, the reason why it's good for Sukuna is because he is a three placement unit. So anything greater than three placements for a unit is not something you're gonna try to get all mighty on. You're gonna go for like, uh, the second rarest trait right there, which is Requiem, as opposed to All Nighty. Just because uh, four placement units will lose that little bit of damage um, that three placement units would get because they get a little buff for it. But the fact that I get Almighty and Critical is crazy because Critical increases crit chance by 20%. So every five hits, my Sukuna is technically critting and he's just becoming an insane monster. Not becoming, he actually is an insane monster to have on my team. I have 21 rerolls here. Let's see, I don't really want to reroll anything per se. Um, I don't have anything super crazy. I have this Esther. If I get unique on him, whatever. I'm not really trying to get anything crazy. Just so you guys can see a few rerolls here. And then we'll check out Sukuna. Yeah, Drawler 2. Okay, let's go over here into the infinite mode. We're going to use our unit. Uh, let's go ahead and bring Bulma along with us as well. There we go. Tier list will be coming out very, very soon. I've almost finally understood every single unit in the game. I want to make sure that you guys uh, get the best info that you can so that I don't mislead you with the units. Let's go ahead and do 
a, let's go here, I guess. There we go, Curse Academy, and let's begin. All right, we're loading in a Curse Academy, guys. The infinite nodes are a great way to get some gems, but I definitely suggest you guys complete story nodes. Um, they'll get you a little bit more gems quicker. Um, infinite nodes right now are like damage farming and LD runs and whatnot, but still, if, if you can do infinite nodes, just go ahead and do it. It just gets really difficult to do them. Now, of course, if you can do the hardest stage, you're gonna get better fruits, better pizza, better ingredient, Papa Russo kind of stuff, and you'll be able to like, I don't know, you'll get, you'll get a little bit more that's gonna be a lot more difficult and it's gonna take a lot more time. So, uh, I, I don't really know. If you wanna do the last stage, do it if you can. If not, it's okay. You're not gonna be like missing out if you don't do the last stage. Anyways, quick little time lapse here. Let's get our money up, then we'll upgrade our Sakuna and we'll see just how incredibly OP this unique, almighty, critical Sakuna is. But uh, yeah, time lapse, go. You know, I really didn't understand the Lethal Company emote, but now that I have it, I kind of like it because you can at least see my whole cosmetic and everything that I got here for Baru. And it works really well with my uh, outfit that I already have and my toad head, so yeah, I'll probably keep this. I kind of wish the aura was like red as opposed to purple, but you can kind of see him really easily on the map every time you play the game. Anyways, we're almost maxed out here with our farm. Just got to finish up leveling up our Bochi here. There we go, there we go. One more upgrade will be able to finally max her out. But let's go ahead and start placing Sukuna down here. Um, on place in 1,000 to place, and look at this, guys. You ready? Sukuna does, on placement. 3,471 damage every 3.9 seconds. You cannot tell me that is insane. Like, if I were to do a DPM calculator, it'd be like 60 divided by 3.9 and then times 3471. Sakuna's doing 53,000 damage per minute at placement. This is absurd. His SPA is crazy, his range is fairly decent, and he does a lot of damage. Like, look, nothing's really gonna get through here. I can upgrade Sakuna. Let me go ahead and turn my effects on so you guys can see that. Sorry about that. Uh, upgrade, there we go. Um, boom. Sakuna has that little uh, domain slash thing in the bob. His circle AoE is kind of small, so you do gotta keep that in your back of your head whenever you're using Sakuna. Let's go ahead and upgrade in the Cleave Slam. His upgrade SPA goes down to six seconds, but his circle is a lot bigger. Upgrade him again after this. It will increase his damage, and he's already doing 22,000 damage on a few upgrades, guys. That is what makes a unique unit unique, is the fact that they're so easy to upgrade, and they can do so much damage so fast. Now, I think I can sell my Natsus here and my Baro. There we go, they look really cool. But guys, look at Sukuna, just his model. He looks crazy, he goes ahead and jump. But look at that, we got those wings on him with the aura and everything. Yeah, unique is absurd for Sukuna. Like, look, next upgrade, Cleave Barrage. 28,000 damage every seven seconds, multi-hit, it crits with the 20% crit chance. It's just a boss of a unit. You know that Garp that I showcased yesterday? Yeah, this Sukuna, might honestly be better than that Garth, even though Garth's full AoE. Now imagine Unique on Garth. That's crazy. The fact that I got Critical plus Unique though, eh, I don't know if there's anything I can compete with that. Upgrade him again. Fire Arrow. Did you know that Fire Arrow actually burns the enemies? Yeah, I kind of just found out myself recently too. So, um, but look at that. 39,000 damage. Decent sized AoE, upgrade again, upgrade again to the Flame Arrow, which is the one that explodes and does multi-hit damage, which is really great for when the things are trying to leak through. Oh, it didn't do it. Is it gonna do it this time? Uh, I think it will. Is it there, there, there it is, Sakuna, please? They're getting through. Yeah, there it is, the one that explodes and boom, everything else gets hit. I wonder if it becomes like full AoE or something. I don't know, but it does a ton of damage. 60,000 damage every 9.3 seconds with eight or nine or, well, 66,000 damage, 73,000 damage. Okay, 73,000 damage, 8.2 seconds, 32.6 range, absurd. But finally, Dimension Expansion is his last upgrade. 84K every 7.8 seconds with 35 range. And Sukuna is fully maxed out. 84K and every five hits, Sukuna is basically critting. This attack alone does 10 hits. 
Sakuna is hitting crits like there's no tomorrow. Look at that crit, crit, crit. The range is crazy. The circle AoE is fairly decent. It's not like a small circle. That's like a, I don't know, let's say that's like a 12, 14, which for this game is pretty darn big. Unique Almighty Sakuna with critical one is probably the best unit that I have and probably the best unit I'll ever have because I don't have money to spend on this game. So guys, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Turn notifications on. I gotta go to work and I'll see you guys later. Reason thesis, bye!